we're asked to determine the cardinality of the given sets. The cardinality of a given set is the number of distinct elements in the set. So looking at set A, the cardinality is equal to the number of elements in the set, which is a little hard to tell because there are so many elements. But notice how the first element is five, and then the elements increase by one all the way up to 32. So to find a shortcut to determine how many elements are in the set, let's take a look at a smaller set. Let's consider the set D, where the set D contains the elements one, two, three, and four. Well, we can easily see the cardinality of set D is equal to four, because there are four elements in the set. But let's see if we can find a shortcut that we can use when we don't want to count the individual elements. Again, this only works when the first element is an integer and each subsequent element increases by one. Notice if we take the largest element of four and subtract the smallest element of one, four minus one is three, then if we add one to the three, we get four, which is the number of elements in the set. And we can use this to determine the number of elements in set A. The largest element in set A is 32, the smallest is five, so we subtract five. 32 minus five is equal to 27, and then we add one, which gives us 28. The cardinality of set A is equal to 28. There are 28 elements in set A. Set B is kind of a strange set. The first element in set B is four, the second element is five, the third element is six, the fourth element is a set containing the elements seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the fifth element is the empty set. Set B contains five distinct elements, even though the fourth element is a set, and the fifth element is the empty set. And therefore, the cardinality of set B is equal to five. And then number three, we want to find the cardinality of the power set of C, where C is a set containing the elements one and two. The power set of any set is the set of all subsets of the given set. So we need to find the power set before we can determine the cardinality of the power set. So the power set of set C is equal to another set containing all these subsets of the set containing the elements one and two. Well first, the empty set is a subset of every set. And now let's list the subsets of set C that contain one element. So the first subset would be the set containing the element one. The second subset would be the subset containing two. And the last subset is a subset of set C containing two elements, or the subset that's equal to set C, which is a set containing one and two. So here we have the power set of set C Notice there are one, two, three, four distinct, distinct elements in the power set where each element is a set. The cardinality of the power set of C is equal to four. I hope you found this helpful.